Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be reviewing the CSB personal sized single column Bible. That's the Christian Standard Bible, single column personal size. This is a fantastic Bible. Uh, I'm so glad you're here today. Before we get into it, if you're new here, my name is Steve. Thank you so much for coming by. Uh, while you're here, you're gonna get encouraged and equipped to be the Christian you claim to be. We're gonna do that by going through scripture and doctrine together and reviewing solid tools and resources that can help make your day-to-day -day better and more Christ-focused. Uh, hey, like I said, reviewing solid tools and resources. Um, I'm really excited to show you guys what's out there and maybe you see something new. Maybe you find the perfect Bible that's th that you've been looking for that can help you interact with the text in new and different ways. So we'll, let's jump over to the table and take a look at this. CSB, Christian Standard Bible, single column, personal sized reference Bible. All right, so here we are. The Holman CSB, that's a Christian Standard Bible, single column, personal sized Bible. This is in tan and black leather touch. So let's take a quick look at the box. I'd like to show you guys the ISBN if you want to look up the exact ISBN here. It retails for $39.99. I got it for much less than that. Uh, I'll pu put a link down in the description. Christian Books always having discounts, you know, and sales and stuff. So that's a fantastic place to get stuff like that. And it's going to give us a little bit of information. It does have a Smithsonian binding. This is a Bible that uh, might be a great uh, option for getting it rebound, especially in the future. We're gonna take a look at this stuff, but it's single column. I really like single column. Black letter, not red letter, and 10 point type. So nice <laughs> nice and big font. Uh, I've started, I'm gonna call it graduating from now on. Graduating to the bigger fonts. Um, even though my eyes are still good, uh, despite other than the color, as those of you know, um, I can still see really well, but I've really started to enjoy bigger font Bibles. And this is just, this is a nice, pretty nice box um, that opens up, and definitely a keepable box. So let's take a look, black and tan uh, and leather touch, still soft. If you have never had a leather touch Bible, it is, it's not real genuine leather. It's certainly not goat skin, but I, but I think the quality is just fine. I never have a problem. Um, I, I really honestly never have a problem with, with any of the major issues that people have. Sometimes the, the binding can get separated if, if they're not all sewn together. It's not tabbed into the block here. Uh, but again, I don't have those problems. I think that the, the dual tone kind of tan and black is really nice looking. It's nice to touch. You have all this nice sewing going on here. Take a look at the side. CSB, Christian Standard Bible, Holy Bible, Christian Standard Bible, and it's put out by Holman. All right, so let's take a look through this. We do get a nice simple presentation page. Make sure you fill these out because you never know who's gonna be reading your Bible in a hundred years from now. And I will mention this because sometimes I forget. It does have one ribbon. Okay, one simple ribbon. Um, you've heard me say this before and you're gonna hear me say it again. I would love to have more than one ribbon. Um, that's, that's pretty much my universal constructive criticism is give us another ribbon or two, uh, so we can use these suckers. I really like and appreciate when they do this. Not all Bibles have these, uh, have the other binding options for this particular Bible. I'm having a focusing issue. So you can get it in deluxe leather touch, genuine leather. And then this one, there's the ISBNs for that. All right. So we're going to get the table of contents, the 66 books of the canon. And there's a, there is a little bit of additional material. There's an introduction in the beginning. We'll take a quick look at that. That's something you should always read. I'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, commonly used abbreviations and, like a, and where to turn in a concordance section. So you're going to get an introduction to the Christian Standard Bible. This is something you need to read through once or twice for each translation of the Bible that you have. But, it, but you don't have to study this for any 
uh, lack of it. It's like the preface, right? Why did we, um, why did we interpret the, the, it the way it is? What, what was our translation philosophy? Um, what type of a Bible is it? Optimal equivalence, right? And it explains dynamic, functional, okay? That's good information to know as you read through your Bible. And it should have that somewhere. If it doesn't have it in the front of your Bible like this one does, oftentimes it'll have a link to the web page. And then a common, uh, commonly used abbreviations. These are also good to know, especially for footnote purposes. You might need to refer back to this from time to time. And then we get into the text. So what I will say is with these leather touches, they're certainly not going to be lay flat right out of the box. This is Genesis, and as you can see, that's not gonna work. But they do break in just fine nicely. I've never had a problem. And as a matter of fact, sometimes Bibles get too floppy because I have a lot of really nice Bibles. Bibles get so floppy that it goes the other direction when you're holding them in your hand. It's great when it's sitting on the table, but if you're holding your hand, and I can't even do it with this Bible, and it's folding all around this way, it makes it hard to read. Uh, these leather touch Bibles, not a problem. All right, so let me point out, again, single column. Um, and I find that single column makes it really pleasant to read. Uh, it doesn't mean that it's not pleasant to read and double and dual column, double column. But if you're going to sit down and read for a while, which in the CSB, uh, that's a great translation to do that in. Read large chunks of the Bible. Um, having just a single column, kind of like a normal book, is it, kind of nice. Let's open up to one of my favorite sections here. Um, I like to go to like Isaiah and Jeremiah, especially, especially Jeremiah. And here's why. It's one of the best places that I can think of to show you all this because it's right next to each other, the ghosting. In these poetry sections, sections that are laid out like poetry, like the Psalms, you're always going to get a little bit of ghosting. I have very few Bibles that don't have at least a little bit. Okay. But um, in the rest of the Bible, it's really not that bad. You can see it. The paper is it's on the thin side. And you can see it, but it does look like it's line matched, which means that this is an okay spot to show you. See how this line here matches up with this one? That means that the line on the back side of this paper is matched up exactly with this side of the paper, which makes it quite a bit easier to read. It means the blank spots are the blank spots, so you don't get ghosting in between which sometimes is a little bit distracting. This is very pleasant to read. Uh, I don't feel like they've tried to. Sometimes they try to squish too many words in. They make the font, you know, and there's not enough space between the lines. Sometimes that happens, especially in the double column Bibles that I have. This Bible is actually very pleasant to read. I really like it. A Guinness, um, Holman's calling this a 10 point font and I, I buy that. Um, sometimes, you know, they call it one thing and it's a little smaller, a little bigger than you expect. Um, but this is really nice. I mean, look, we have an entire page here. That's a, almost a whole page just full of words. And I, you could sit and read that all day. No problem. Um, as we're noticing here, you get about a half an inch, maybe three quarters of an inch uh, of space to write in the margins. So you can write a little bit, but this is not a journaling Bible by any stretch of the imagination. Definitely good for underlining and highlighting, um, not tons and tons of room to write extra notes. Let's flip open to the back and show you a couple of, uh, couple of the things that are in the back here. So gonna give you a where to turn section. Let's see if we can focus in on one of these, just so you can see. These are usually like questions or, you know, like it says there, when you need forgiveness, where you go, Psalm 51. Yeah, there you go. That's a fantastic psalm to read when you're struggling, right? So this is going to help you in, with situations. Maybe you're just, you're having trouble. You'd want to know where to turn. Uh, that'll, that'll point you, at least give you an idea, point you towards a Bible verse. It's going to give you a table of weights and measures because their weights and measures are slightly different. And you might want to know what that all means. What is a cubit? How long was a cubit? Give you an idea of how big the ark really was or how big the temple really was. And then you're going to get a, a concordance. Here we go with the font and this concordance is tiny. I'm not going to lie to you. I wonder if there's a way I can show you. Look, regular font, concordance font. If I had to guess, I would say this is five, five to six. 
That's just a guess. But it's nice to have a concordance back here because I would use this right in tandem with that where to turn section um, when you're struggling or when you want to look up a specific word or person, do a little bit more in-depth of a study, uh, especially if you're on the go, this can help you out with that. You do get in the back a couple of uh, blank pages, okay? Quite a few of them actually to, to add your own notes if you so choose. And if you can see there, I'll hold it. Yeah, there it's a double column and there are lines on there for you. So you get about five or six pages. That's fantastic. Then we have our Bible maps. I, I'm very visual and I love, I think the CSB does a fantastic job um, with their maps. Uh, the colors, for a colorblind guy, the colors of the CSB maps are just terrific. I really like them. And here's a feature that I always, I don't forget to point out. I pointed it out in the first the first couple of Bibles I did, but I want to point it out more often because this is one of the coolest features, okay, that I want you to know about. See all that bold print there? Those are direct quotes from the Old Testament. I think that's amazing. I love that they did that. Um, and I need to mention it more often because I love seeing these in big, bold print as you're reading through the New Testament. Anytime, almost any time you're reading through the New Testament and it refers to the scriptures, it's referring to the Old Testament because those are the scriptures they had, the writers had. And I love reading through the New Testament and seeing all of the quotes, all of the direct references that the writers are making to the Old Testament because it really helps me tie everything together and remind me that this entire book is the word of God, right? It is all God breathed, um, all 66 books. If I've left anything out or you have any questions that I haven't covered, please leave them down in the description. Let me know. I'm curious uh, as to how you guys feel about single column and double column. What's your favorite and why is it your favorite? Do you read single column more? Do you read double column more? Um, or did you even know that there were both such a thing? I'm really curious to hear what you guys have to say about that. Also, here's a couple of other videos. If uh, you like this review, please feel free to subscribe. And again, if you have any questions I haven't covered, leave them down in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. Thank you guys so much for watching and hanging with me. Be blessed.